Praise the Lord. This ninth is phenomenal already. Yes. Because the Lord has spoken to us. Thank you, Father. We worship you, sweet Holy Spirit. We worship you, sweet Holy Spirit. This is what I wanted to do. We're going to sing the song again. But for the next one minute, express your expectation to God in prayer. Express your expectation to God in prayer. Let's go ahead and express your expectation to God in prayer. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do it. express your expectation to God. Matt, please come. Father, we worship you this evening. Father, we worship you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for the sweet presence of the Holy Spirit that is here. Thank you, Holy Father. I just want to play a part now. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. Everybody lift up your two hands towards heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Let me hear the symbols. Glory to God. A 
All of you online, don't get distracted now with your hands lifted towards heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. And I know you are here. Filling this place, filling the we online, filling the overflows and extension. Such a power, Press such a strong Lord presence of God. We know you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's a lady in this place. You've not seen your prayer for such a long time. It's been restored right now. You have to go and get some help. It's been restored right now. Thank you, Jesus. There's a lady called Funke. You have been healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. You have been healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's someone, there's someone, oh glory to God. You had an accident and the accident affected your legs. Right now, the power of God is healing you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Right now, the power of God is healing you in the name of Jesus Christ. A certain here condition has been healed by the power of God. I command that devil of death, death, let's come out in Jesus' name. Oh, Sande Korapita Santo Kapalis Komenatalishka. Yes, lumps, tumors, lumps and tumors are leaving people's bodies now. Lumps and tumors are leaving people's bodies now. I command that press lump to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone has a lump towards the eye area. It seems like a little knob. It's gone in Jesus' name. Glory to God. I command arthritis to go in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Thy ear be healed in Jesus' name. Thy ear be healed in Jesus' name. That breathing condition be healed in Jesus' name. Glory to God. That, that, oh, thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you, praise. We give you glory, we give you praise, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. So many miracles of God are happening. So many miracles are happening right now. If you need a healing miracle, just put your right hand on your body and receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we worship your holy name. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, this evening I want to encourage you as much as you can, refuse to be distracted. Especially those of you that are watching online. I know they are there in your several tens of thousands. But refuse to be distracted. And if there's someone you need to be prayed for, get them glued. If you want to share the link with someone, go ahead and share it with someone. Because this will benefit them. In Jesus' name. Please, you can have your seats. You know, um, there's nothing like following the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because there's an assurance and confidence it brings to you. There's an assurance and... Pastor G, are they here? One person... Wait, wait, has she testified already? What? Not yet. Okay, you're not sure. Okay. There's nothing like following the guidance of the Holy Spirit because normally we will have meetings like, exp um, like encounter and all of those kind of things. But during this period, God particularly encouraged me that I should really minister, you know, on one of the nights, just this way we are doing today. And when God does that, that's because he has a reason, he has a purpose, he has something he wants to do. So last night when Apostle Selma was right here ministering, I was in Bagatha, you know, I was in Bagatha, you know, ministering to people. And just like as, as I began to pray, I never began the service. All of a sudden, um, Ben, you need to help me with the pictures. All of a sudden, there was a lady that had an accident and torn a ligament and was confined to a walking stick um, or crutches. As we began to pray, she was, you know, at the back of the hall, you know. So I said, just said, you know, if you were healed, come out. I just heard people shouting at the back. I didn't even know what was going on. Can you, can you, do you have the picture? So I just heard them shout on the back. I'm like, oh, what's going on? And um, I just saw someone behind that carrying a walking stick. And uh, we all just began to shout and praise God. And all that shows the love of God. All that shows the love of God. I, I thought they could help me project the pictures you know, at the back in the control room, if they can. You know, they've done that already? Oh, oh okay, they made the video. Okay, wonderful. And um, there's one other person that has a testimony. Which, please come, come, come. And she, you come. A and why that was happening, were you the one that ran off the stage? You're the one that ran off the stage and you were crying yesterday. Come. And the reason why is that we can show you a video, but I love you to see the person so that you can know what happened to you yesterday. Um, yesterday, when the ministration was going on, I was trusting God to perfect all that concerned me. I wasn't actually looking forward to healing because since on Monday, I was like, I know I am perfectly fine because I had my miracle last year when yeah. I stopped using my medication since May and March when I joined NLP. So I was like, I was not going to use any medication. So again. you were on prescription drugs? Yes. And since March last year? I stopped when I is, joined this, NLP. And you've not had the recurrence of that? I've not had it. I've Pr not even had any health crisis. Praise God. Since that time. But what happened yesterday? Just let's cut so, to Yesterday, I was looking forward to God to perfect all that concerns me. Then somebody beside me hit my ham. So I dropped my ham and I was like, wait, the pain I was feeling earlier today and the bump that was underneath my ham pit, I can't feel it there. So I checked again and I looked at the person and then the person was like, what's up with you? I said, you don't understand. Like, let me check again. So I kept on pressing it and... It and wasn't the there. It was there. It wasn't there. 
I couldn't feel the pain. I kept on doing like this. Even through the service, I was doing like this to like know if it was truly gone. And I want to say thank you to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you know what? She was testifying. And that lady ran up and she had been deaf in her ear for 30 years. Oh, yeah. She said when she was in primary school, she must be maybe close to maybe 38, something like that. Is that when she was in primary school, children were playing and they broke cane in her ears. And they didn't realize that the cane was removed, but something stuck in her ears. And I, they operated on it and removed it, but it could not repair the damage again. And since that time, she's not been able to hear. And all of a sudden, the power of God touched her. And she said, Pastor Bolaji, is a, the first thing I noticed was that this place was noisy. He said, I slowed down. I told, I told my friends, wait. He said, the friend said, I always know that she tells me, I didn't hear what you said before, say it again. But I thought it was an annoying habit. I didn't know she was deaf in one ear. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. Hallelujah. So we're confident in the grace and in the power of God. John chapter 1. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. John chapter yes, 1. Sir. John chapter 1. So when we finish praying for the business, um, for the healing and miracles, we will now pray for the career breakthroughs, pray for the marriages, and it will be awesome. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. John chapter 1. The Bible says, and, and the Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. I'm going to jump to verse 3 just because of emphasis. The Bible says, all things were made by him, by woe, by the word. And without him was not anything made that was what? Made. And the reason I'm saying so is this. Because when it comes to the things of the spirit, I believe that the things of the spirit have principles that guide them. They may not be like natural principles, but they actually have principles that guide them. And this one says that, it says, God does nothing without his word. And this explains the reason why a lot of Christians get frustrated. Because here they are, they want a child. But they say, how, I'm barren, how can I get a child? The doctor said, my fallopian tubers blocks, what can I do? They say, I'm in debt, I want to come out of debt, what can I do? Fundamentally, the way Christians address problems is to pray. And that's correct, but that's incomplete. Fundamentally, the way Christians address problem is to pray. But this explains the reason why there are a lot of prayer mountains, a lot of prayer mantis, but there are few people that have the results of prayer. Is it that God doesn't answer prayer? No. Listen, prayer was not man's idea, it was God's idea. It was God that said, come unto me, ask and I shall give you. So, if he didn't want to answer, why will he invite you? So he wants to answer. The difference is this. We don't know. We don't know what it takes to make it happen. And I began to share with us on Wednesday. And if you don't, you need to go back to the message on YouTube and watch it. I said, God, I said, the word of God is the primary way of changing things. That every time God wants to change someone that is struggling to prosper in, he sends a word. God wants to change someone, he sends a word. God is always sending a word. So, this evening, why? Because God's word is the primary way of changing levels. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Either you're a businessman and you're believing God for this huge expansion in your business, what will God send you? God will send you a word. Either you're believing for some kind of opportunity, what will God send you? God will send you a word. The reason I'm saying so is this. So that when you know what God is sending you, you will know how to recognize it and take it. But a lot of Christians don't understand. That's why when you in this kind of meeting, say that, ah, you went on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Why do you just all sit down? They don't understand that every sitting down to hear the word of God is sit so in session. Glory to God. Every time you are hearing the word of God, what is it? His seed sowing session. Listen to me. If you don't like the fruit, it's not by cutting it. It's by planting new seeds. 
oh my god if you don't like the fruit it's not by what cutting it it's by planting the seed you want if in your life there are fruits help me, help me my fruit help me my fruit look glory to god look at this look at this if in your life all you see are apples and that's not what you want the reason why you have apples in your life is that because in your heart that is the seed that is there what do you do sir you if it's corn that you want then you go ahead and you plant some corn seed the question is this if your life is reflecting what you don't want what do you do you plant the seed of what you want and what is the seed the word of god what is the seed the word of god so I start planting seed because the Bible says that's what God does. He said the sower sowed the seed. I start planting seed because that's what God's word does. I start planting seed. What is the seed? I explained to him Mark chapter 4. The Bible says the seed is the word of God. Someone says, I'm so tired of being single, change the seed you're planting. Someone says, I'm so tired of my finances, change the seed you're planting. What is the seed you need to plant? The seed of the word. So say, I'm frustrated about business. Change the seed you're planting. What is the seed? The seed is the word. And today, let me explain why prayer does not work for most people. Thank you, sir. Because people think prayer is an all-purpose drug. Prayer is not an all-purpose drug. You know, when you were young, anything that's wrong with you is paracetamol or panadol. Yes or no? Prayer. See, there's something that makes prayer work. Did you notice in the Bible, in actually in Ephesians chapter 6, when it spoke about the, all the armor of righteousness, that there was no armor called prayer? Yes or no? Didn't you surprise you? That how can there not be an armor called prayer? But how does prayer work? Prayer is a gun. So, prayer is like a gun. But, if you have a gun and you don't have bullets, can you do something with it? What is the bullet? The word of God. Should I challenge you? If you find anywhere in the Bible that says prayer, that prayer is powerful, I will give you money. 250,000. Because there's no way in the Bible that says so. What the Bible says is that prayer makes power available. He never said prayer is powerful. Some say, are you downgrading prayer? Never! I'm only telling you that there's something that makes... I want to show you how prayer works. He said prayer... He said prayer makes power available. So, where is the power of God? Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is quick and powerful. What is full of power? The word of God. Romans 1.16 I'm not ashamed of the gospel of God for it is the power of God unto salvation. And what is, what is power in physics? Who knows what power is in physics? The ability to do work. To cause changes. So what is prayer? Someone says, ah, so prayer is nothing. I've not said so. Be careful. Because we will just take half truth and jump off. What is prayer? Prayer is the gun. When I have the gun and I don't have bullets, if I say, shaka, shaka, I want to shoot you, will you run? No. But ladies and gentlemen, if I take the bullets and I put in the gun, if you love your life, you said about to start running. The reason why many Christians are shooting God in prayer and it's not working is because there is no bullet inside. Step back a little and load your gun with bullets. And load your gun with bullets. And when you load your gun with bullets, when you come back, where is the devil? You can open fire. Somebody say amen. That's why when you hear me pray, I'm always saying that, let's turn in our Bible. Let's turn in my Bible. Let's, why? The word of God is the son of the spirit. How do you cut the cancer? That's the word of God. How do you break the delay? That's the word of God. How do you break the death? That's the word of God. Somebody say amen. Hey. He said the word of God is pray. All of you that came in with cancer, congratulations. You came with two more congratulations. We came with long congratulations. Why? We were going to cut it out. How will we cut it out? Look at Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Are you here? 
that's why I told us at home if you need to share with your friend share with your friends because in the realm of the spirit there's no distance as we pray there to touch them at home I can hear you do you believe this Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 oh glory to God see what the Bible says I don't know if you can give me the amplified after this he said for the word of God is quick quick is an old English word it's a life then he says something he's also not just alive it's powerful then what it is sharper than what listen to me I love the way the Amplified Bible and the Muffet Bible says it he says sharper than the surgeon's blade what does that mean if the surgeon's blade can cut a fire rod the word of God can do a better job if the surgeon's blade can cut a tumor the word can do a better job he says he's powerful. He's sharper. He's sharper. He's sharper. He's sharper. He's sharper. And tonight we are releasing the power in the word of God. Shout I receive it. Glory to God. Hebrews 11 verse 3. Can you, I, I just need the volume to be, it's loud, just to be more robust. So I don't have to exert myself. Hebrews 11 verse 3. Oh, look at what it says. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone says, how will I get the approval? I want to show you. <laughs> Someone says, how will I get the funding? I want to show you. How, this is how we create the funding. This is how we release the approval. How? It's a true faith. We understand that the world, the world means the different faces of life. He didn't say world. It was the different faces. The big one is a yaw. He says the successive ages. They were framed. Framed means they were put together. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. He said the world were framed. They were arranged. How do we arrange your wedding by the word? How do we arrange the word by the word? How do we arrange the child by the word? He said the word were framed. Oh, glory to God. Are you here? Some of you do construction. When you're doing construction, the man will tell you, sir, let me do the frame first. What is the frame? Is that image that the real thing will follow that's what the word does in the spirit once we form the frame once we form the financial frame the natural will follow in the spirit once we form the frame from pregnancy the pregnancy will follow once we form the frame from the marriage the marriage will follow once we form the frame from the approval it will follow once we form the frame for your license it will follow once we form the frame for your approval it will follow what does he say he said this understanding is not what you can get he said through faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of god what does that mean so that the things that are seen my token man and i he said the things that are seen were made out of the things that are not seen hallelujah someone is saying that how can you just speak and it will happen ah he don't understand the power of the word listen to me everything was produced by god said everything can be controlled by god said everything can be regulated by god said everything can be fixed by god said the reason why is that the raw material of everything was what god said glory to god i said glory to god stop drinking empty capsule capsule have you not seen that drink empty capsule if the capsule has no powder inside it's useless what's empty capsule prayer without word what's empty capsule prayer many of you that's why you keep drinking prayer and it's not working because the prayer is that word you tell someone you're praying about your company what scripture is it i'm just praying ah uh, my brother you are shooting empty gun load the gun with bullets i said load the gun with bullets i said load the gun with bullets a gun without bullets is useless uh. glory to god I said glory to God so let's look at this no word no change little word little change much word much change when you understand this thing you don't even have to meet someone to pray for you by yourself the operation of the word comes alive I was hearing a testimony and it was Bishop when I said this testimony by it was a book by something more important and one person was on the wheelchair and he was reading a book about divine healing he said 
he didn't even know from reading the book when he stood up and began to walk he said it was his wife that told him that honey you are not in the chair again he didn't even know when he began to walk the reason why is that when the word is sown all you have to is to sleep and wake up the bible says and first the air and then the blade and the full cone in the air all you need see <laughs> hallelujah when when jesus visited lazarus mary and martha martha was running up and down jesus said you will miss it he said you will miss it he said one thing is need for he said mary has chosen that thing i know that you're bothered about the approval but one thing is need for mary has chosen what is it the word no word no change little word little change much word more change you don't have a problem all you need is revelation sir there's no mountain anywhere every man's mountain is his ignorance he said my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. someone says how do i know i don't have word the fruit speaks of it he said by their fruits you shall know them when you have it it shows why first peter 123 the word of god is the incorruptible seed it cannot be present and not germinate praise god the word is a seed if you are struggling in business look for seven scriptures on business success every morning be saying it every night be saying it the first thing the word does is that it changes your focus all of a sudden you become distracted from seeing the problems and you start seeing the solutions that's what happened to peter listen peter was going to walk on water did peter see just on water yes or no yes. come on people did peter see just on water yes. why didn't peter just jump on the water and say master i'm coming he knows if i jump without the water, i sink forever that's the problem of people that copy people in church they did their own by revelation you did your own by copying you say ah eh, that sister she now went to buy gown and wore it and got married they did it by revelation you are doing your own by copying and the way faith works is that although there's an action faith is invisible on the inside when peter was going to walk on water he said jesus i want to walk on the water but if you don't release the word i will not have the ability to walk on the water he said bid me to come why did he say bid me to come he understood that the power to walk on water was in the word and jesus said to him come and instantly as peter jumped out of the water the water became solid why because the word has been released listen to me tonight is that same water once we release it it becomes whatever you want are you ready for it Peter was walking. Peter, ah, how did listen to me? I hope you know the Bible doesn't say they were on a canoe. He said they were in a ship. Do you know how tall a ship is? For him to even jump from the top of the ship downwards. A canoe is not what you step out and you step on water. No, the ship sometimes are meters high. But Peter understood. I'm not stepping on water, I'm stepping on the word. Listen to me. What are you stepping on? Someone says, ah, <laughs> you know, because I've seen my analysis in business, my focus is good. You are stepping on analysis. With your analysis, add the word of God to it. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. So this explains why for a lot of people, you see them praying a lot, but it doesn't work. Because the word of God, which is the active ingredient, is not in their prayer. And that's why you see us pray. You know, if you listen to our prayers, there's a lot of read the Bible. Read the Bible. Because, listen, the Bible, the prayer works with the word, sir. Stop praying empty prayers. Someone says, what do you mean? All the prayer you have prayed, how much result have you seen from it? You are asking a professional prayer. Glory to God. First Peter chapter 1 verse 23 and let's we're going in process in, we're just going gradually 
So I says, why are you teaching like this? Because this is how the miracles happen. Why? As I'm teaching, what am I doing? I'm giving out seeds. <laughs> I'm throwing out seeds. I'm throwing out seeds. I'm throwing out seeds. First Peter 1 23. See what the Bible says here. He says, being born again, not of what? But of what? So what is the word of God? The word of God is incorruptible seed. What does that mean? This is what it means. If you take the corn seed and you plant it, you can never have a 100% corn harvest. Some seed will never germinate. You know why? Because the corn seed is corruptible. So it's subject to failure. 50% do well, 50% not do well. Then it says, that is a human seed. It says, but the word of God is incorruptible. Meaning that every time the word of God is applied, it never fails, it never decays, it never breaks down. The word of God is incorruptible. Glory to God. I said glory to God. So the question now is this. There's a question. If the word of God is incorruptible and I'm using the word, then why is the word not working for me? Because when you read the Bible, something limits the seed. Mark chapter 4 tells us that although the seed is incorruptible, that what? The heart limits the seeds. Although the seed was incorruptible, the thorny soil limited the seed. The, 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 the weedy soil limited the seed. Listen to me. Your heart, and when I say your heart, I mean your core can limit your seed. What is your core? Your mindset. What is your core? Your emotions. All those things are on the inside. The seed will always work. Did you notice the seed was sown on four types of soil? The Bible said there was seed on the wayside. Then there was what? The stony ground. Then there was the one that had weeds in it. But question, how did it produce in all four soils? Should I shock you? It's only producing 25% of the soil. And the 25% was what? The good soil. And even 25%, it produced 30 fold, 60 fold, and 100 fold. Why? It still depends on the nature of the soil in every situation. What am I telling you this? Although the seed is powerful, why does it not work for people? The mindset. I'll give an example. Oh, this is so powerful. Did you notice when God called Gideon to go to battle? God looked at them. He says, tell the men, anyone that is afraid should go back. You know why? He said, the fear on the inside will affect the battle. Before that fear affects the battle, go back. It, this same thing. <laughs> let, let me show Zechariah. Well, Zechariah, Zach Bible says in Zechariah chapter 1 verse 12, this is what Bible says. Bible says, Bible says Zechariah, the angel appeared to Zechariah and said to Zechariah, I have come in response to your prayer. Ah, I thought you would shout. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 12. I, 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 don't, I don't want to, I, I, you know, yeah, look at that. Zachari no, no, I'm sorry. Luke chapter 1 verse 12. The story of Zechariah is in um, Luke, Luke chapter 1 verse 12. The Bible says that when, they, when Zechariah saw the angels, he troubled and fell upon him, and, and, and fear fell upon him. And the angels said, fear not, Zechariah, for what? For what? And thy wife shall what? Good. See his prayer request, that my wife will, this was his prayer request. But what was his mentality? As soon as the angel said, you will have a child, Zechariah said, no now, we are old. How will it happen? Did you see that? Although he was praying, his mindset was negative. I'm a tire. Although he was praying, his mindset was negative. And guess what? If the angel did not seal his mouth, the angel did not punish him, the angel helped him. Because God had the hand in that child. He didn't want Zachariah to use his mouth to destroy the miracle. So the angel closed his mouth. Why? Because with his mouth and mind, he can destroy the miracle. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know people that are praying for marriage and say nobody can marry me. And you will see them in church. Yeah, 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 fire, yeah, fire, yeah, father, father. But as soon as they pray, they mind it. When you talk about mind, they just switch off. I, I don't know people praying for their businesses. And you say, Brother Alpha, how can you prosper in this country? On the inside, they are negative. But what they are praying for, they want positive. Don't you know negative times anything is negative? Once you introduce negative to your fasting, it becomes negative fasting. 
Once you introduce negative to your prayer, it becomes what? Negative prayer. You are there on the witch on the walking stick. You say, if he likes, he will hear me or not. But you are negative already. You are believing God for a child. When I say you will receive your baby, you just said, mm, I can't come and kill myself. And you're so negative. We are believing God for funding, for businesses. And we're saying, in the name of just to happen, you say, you know, I, I don't want to raise my expectation. And you just become negative. And, and the reason, you, what you realize is that once you are negative, the, what I told you was this, that the heart limits the seed. Once you're negative, what happens? Your mindset, your thinking limits your prayers, limits the seed, limits your faith. Could that be the reason why your prayer is not working? Because it's been limited from the inside. And that's why if it's not working, the first thing you have to do is to soak, sir. Somebody says soak it. Somebody says soak it. See, they're soaking it to wash it, but they're soaking it for you to dissolve. That's what the Bible says, breaking up fallow ground. It says, sow to yourself in mercy, reap in It says, sow to yourself in righteousness, reap in mercy. Many of you, let me tell you the truth. It's not as if God is not answering your prayer, but your mentality is working against your prayer. Your belief system is what working against your prayer. You are praying one thing and you really believe another thing. And that thing you believe is canceling your prayer. You, you are doing a business, but you say this business cannot make me rich. That's what you think in your mind. And that belief is canceling your prayer. It's time to fix the believing so that you can go forward. Many of you have, oh my God, so many things happening tonight. Many of you are praying for a great marriage, but you don't believe in the marriage again. You are praying for a great business, but you don't believe in the business again. This is so good. This is so good. Same like Zechariah. So what do you do? You need to take the promise of God, like we taught you on Wednesday, and begin to soak it in. It's not a day's job, because that mindset did not come in one day. That mindset, that negative mindset, no, and that's what the Bible says. That be you what renewed by what the by, be you transformed rather by the renewing of your mind. And in this prayer, what am I doing? I'm just giving you tools. Let me give you some seeds. You, you ready for some seeds? Let's oh, let's start with this Joshua chapter one verse five. Glory to God. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Just a minute. You want to help me? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Because I could just chip with that. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. Am I not, is it going to be okay now? Thank you, sir. I'm very grateful, sir. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. Are you ready? <laughs> I say, we want to give you seeds. Someone say, as a businessman, do you have a scripture for me? <laughs> I'm a contractor. Do you have a, I have a scripture for you. As a contractor, this is the scripture. You work in an industry, this is the scripture for you. What does he say? The Lord said to Abraham, He said, is this what for you? He said, there shall not be any man be able to stand before you all the days of your life. I don't know the space where you compete in. I don't know what is happening with the other contractors. But this is the word of God over you. No man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Any industry you are in, you will do well. You will outpace competition in the name of Jesus. Ah, see what he says. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. He says, I will not fail you. If you will not fail me, then I cannot fail. Everybody say, I cannot fail. Because he cannot fail me. Oh, hallelujah. Turn to Isaiah 58 verse 11. Then after that, 
Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 9. What am I doing? I'm sowing seeds. I'm sowing seeds. You are going for a contract. They say there are 200 of you. You say that's okay. No man shall be able to stand before me. All the days of my life. No man shall be able to stand before me. All the days of my life. They say it's a scholarship grant. It doesn't matter. No man shall be able to stand before me. All the days of my life. Praise God. Genesis 15 verse 11. See what it says. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy your soul in trust. Even if there's a recession, he said, will satisfy my soul in trust. Even there's deflation, he will satisfy my soul in trust. Even though there's one recession, devaluation, he will satisfy my soul in trust. Say, I'm satisfied. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope those are online are catching this. He says this, and thou shalt be like a water. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thou shalt be like a watered garden. Thou shalt be like a watered garden. Thou shalt be like a watered garden. Like the springs of water, whose waters fail not. I don't run dry. I don't run dry. My finance doesn't run dry. All of you at home, type in the comment section. I don't run try. My finance doesn't run try. Glory to God. He didn't say there will be no recession. He said, but in recession, it will satisfy my soul. I know there's devaluation. I know there's inflation. I know there's first subsidy issue. But in all of these things, my soul will be satisfied. Are you here? Are you here? Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 9. This is the big one. Oh, glory to God. I said glory to God. See, Deuteronomy chapter 30, not 13. 30 verse 9. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh Aha. Hey, yeah, yeah. Where are those that want to carry their babies? Are you here? See, where are those that want to expand? Let's read one to go. And the Lord will make thee plenteous in every walk of your hands in every walk of your hands if you do photography you'll be plenty in banking you'll be plenty real estate you'll be plenty construction will be plenty in, ba- in, in finance you'll be plenty consulting you'll be plenty media you'll be plenty in the name of jesus see what the bible says he said the lord will make you plenteous in every ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the city in my heart i don't see myself going down i see myself enlarging why the lord will make me plenteous in every walk of my hand then he says something he says plenty in the fruit of my body i'm a taker i'm not the one that goes to the hospital and they'll say mm, you lack vitamin c no sir everything in my body is plenty it's in its right proportion everything is plenty all the enzyme all the hormones all the tissues all the nerve system they supply in plenty there's no shortage in my system why if the same spirit that raised christ from the dead even dwells inside of you he will uh, yeah, 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 yeah. he will quicken your mother upon it Shaliba, somebody shout amen that's why the doctors get confused we go today and they will say from the test we see this and this and this and they will say come back for surgery but by the time we come to next level and we open fire when we go back again they say we are sorry we can't find it again this is the reason why because he said we'll be plenty in the fruits in our body what does that mean they say that you have low sperm count not me my sperm count is plenty they say you can't you don't have enough eggs not me my eggs are plenty they say that your body cannot coordinate that's why your legs cannot move not me my ah yeah 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 my butt my foot of my body is plenty say it's plenty can we finish this he said plenty in the fruit of the cattle plenty in the fruit of the land all of you watching from spain you are plenty from toronto you are plenty he said what is and uh, in the for good for the lord again will rejoice over you as he rejoiced over your father i told you i told you i said this year the most common one you hear is congratulations 
I, 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 I lay your hands upon yourself and prophesy that this year they must come on what our years congratulation this year they must come on what our years congratulation on my children on my family on my health on my job in the name of Jesus can we still sow some seeds Exodus 15 verse 26 hallelujah hey yeah 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 touch your body I'm planting the fruit of my body I'm planting the fruit of my body everything is working well if you could not move your leg begin to move it I'm, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm planting the fruit of my body everything is working well my eyes is working well my heart is working well my kidney is working well my lungs is working well in the name of Jesus he said plenty in my land this finance land I'm in I'm plenty I'm plenty this real estate land I'm in I'm plenty this in my industry I'm plenty glory to God I said glory to God Exodus 15 verse 26 let's look at what the Bible says hallelujah he says and let's just jump into the middle he says in, just in the middle he said and I will put none of these diseases which I put upon the Egyptians for what does he say I am the Lord that he led it hey hey doctor said there is no cure he said I am the Lord that he led it are you hearing me they said something is wrong with your eyes he said I'm the Lord that he led it they say you need a surgery I'm the Lord that he led it they say your child is sick I'm the Lord that he led it everybody say I am the Lord that he led it say he is the Lord that he lets me say I receive it <laughs> songs of Solomon chapter 4 verse 2 oh glory to God songs of Solomon what am I doing we're sowing seeds this is what we call soaking <laughs> we have been soaked been soaked in the word songs of Solomon chapter 4 verse 2 see what the Bible says he says the teeth are like the flock of the sheep that are even shown which came up from washing every one of them bears twins hallelujah hallelujah I say hallelujah and none is what barren amongst my hey, yeah, 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 yeah. when they say your fallopian tube is blocked you will lift up your hands and say cancel hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. when they say you can't have a child you will lift up your hands and say cancel why he said none of them is barren amongst them everybody shout amen Psalm 34 verse 10. <laughs> Mount Tabaya. Let me tell you, it gets to a point. They will say, let's go. You say, I'm pregnant. How do you know? I can feel it. You see, so your menstruation, it doesn't matter. I feel it. How? It says, through faith, we understand the things that are seen were made out of the things that we do not see. Through faith, we superimpose the pregnancy. Arade Kataya. <laughs> someone got pregnant the doctor said but you should not be pregnant because of your condition who is the doctor who say it when god hasn't <laughs> where are my single brothers and little sisters this is for you look at what the bible says the young lions do lack and they suffer hunger but they that seek the lord hallelujah shall not want any good thing hallelujah they that seek the lord is he a man you are seeking for you shall not want any good thing. Is he a wife you are seeking for? You shall not want any good thing. Is he a provider you are seeking for? You shall not want any good thing. Is he funding you are seeking for? You shall not want any good thing. In the name of Jesus. Some of you have been applying for certain licenses that have not come through. Right now it's released in Jesus' name. Right now it's released in Jesus' name. I said the approval is released in Jesus' name. I said the letters are released in Jesus' name. How can I say that? Because the Bible says, Ah, we shall not lack any good thing. Oh, glory to God. Psalm 37 verse 4. Hey, ha <laughs> ha. Psalm 37 verse 4. Rabba Matakaya. Okay. Will you just pray in tongues for one minute? Lift up your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Caleb wrote a shabrat te haya. Silemon taki barade. Amen. Hold on. Let me teach you how to pray. When you start, pray hot in tongues. 
no 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 they are different they, 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 they talk about him no 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 that's not what I'm talking about this one is hot one that's what I'm talking about hold on hold on that when you pray you know it's like it's like you want to stir something when you are stirred you begin to prophesy what do you prophesy prophesy what you have heard that they that seek the Lord will not like any good thing and because of that my approval has come in my license has come in my funding has come in my job has come in my promotion has come in my baby has come in my healing has come in in the name of Jesus Christ are you ready to prophesy pray in tongues everybody ah yeah 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 those online pray in tongues Iman Tokaya, Mantokea, Iman Toke, Silegabato, Raga de Bashanda, does in the overflow, pray tongues, hallelujah, begin to prophesy, begin to declare the word, 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 hallelujah, begin to declare it, none shall be parent, none shall be parent, I am the Lord that healed thee, I receive my healing, hey. Hey, 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 Silega, Mante, Silega, Mante, Mante, Mariga, Shakode, and Pateka, Scabra de Katonska, and Banetona Skyla. Go ahead, prophesy, receive the job, receive the husband, receive the baby, take your healing, take your healing, take your miracle, take the breakthrough right there. Power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. As you have declared it, so it is to you. In the name of Jesus, receive your portion. Oh, wow. Please sit down. <laughs> My God, such even all of you at home are feeling the anointing. See what the Bible says in Psalm 34, verse 7. And Psalm 37, verse 4. He said, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Ah, what does that mean? Heaven will say, Take it. They will mark it right. They will mark it right. Everybody zero cancel cancel when it gets to your turn. You say hold on angel say you can't cancel her She's on that divine operation. She's under the rod of the New Testament Take it receive it correct correct. They look at your list. Some of you have prayer list here Your first list is for funding take it your second list is for expansion take it The third one is for good stuff take it the fourth one is for husband take it the fifth one is for your child take it why delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart everybody say god has given me the desires of my heart praise god My God, that's how you saw the word. You speak it. You speak it. Listen to me. Once you start speaking the word, this is what happens first. He will say, "He will, he will give me the desires of my heart. I receive my husband." Your mind will say, "At forty-five." He will say, "At forty-five." But the good thing is this about the mind: the mind cannot decipher between reality and friction. That's why when you watch movie, why do you shake? You know that the movie is acted. But when they are shooting God, you go, e -e -e, why are you shaking? Because the human mind cannot decipher between what? Reality and friction. What does that mean? The more you say it, the more your mind will believe it. He cannot tell the difference. And once your mind takes it, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. He said, the heart of a man devises his ways. Once your mind and heart receive it, then he produces it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Listen to me. Say it. Don't only say it. See it. Yeah. I 
as you say it, you must you must say it with feelings. Don't just say, you say, it will give me the heart of my heart. It will give me the heart. No, 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 no. That's not how you say it. The Bible says the way of saying works is it. You first believe with your heart. And you confess with your mouth. It's just heart belief saying that works. If you're here, you have cancer, you say, I've received my healing. If you're here, you have tumor, you say, the tumor is gone. If you're here with your pain, you say, the pain is healed. Why? I am the Lord that healed thee. If your legs can't walk, you say, this legs can't walk. Why? I am the Lord that healed thee. My eyes are working. My ears are working. I am the Lord that healed thee. The funding has come because the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. We are not talkers. We are people of power. The Bible says anywhere the word of the king is, there is power. He said, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. He throw of you shall agree concerning anything. He shall be torn. Glory to God. I said, glory to God. I'm going to buy this CD. <laughs> it's so anointed. Let me show the last thing. Hebrews chapter 4. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I wish you can see in the spirit what the Lord is doing. Make sure you're the only one. Make sure you're not the only one that does not receive. Because people are receiving everywhere. People are receiving everywhere. You already know that this year is different. Can you see it? You already know that this year is different. It's a settled year. It's a year of ease and plenty. The lines are falling onto me in place and places. You crown my year with your goodness. Shalom Atabaya. Shout Amen. Hey, 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 hey. Maya. Sigalamante. See, I hope as you are shouting, you can see your testimony. Can you see your bank accounts? Can you see the funding that's coming? Can you see your company's balance sheets? Can you see your profits? Can you see the medical reports saying you are pregnant? Saying the cancer is gone? Saying you are cancer free? Say amen somebody! My God! That's the power of the Holy Ghost right there. Lay brakata shabadande. Hey patanamaya. Listen to me. Everywhere people are connected to death, there is an overflow power. Listen, if you have not seen healing signs and wonders before tonight, you will see. Right before you. <laughs> Man, talk Asian, no matter. Sit down, please. So this is a question. Now that I know the word is important, where do I get the word from? From Bible study. That's why people that say, I'm always at home on Sundays, bad idea. I go to this place, but you need to find a church that pumps you the word. Because faith comes by hearing. Faith, faith can also go by not hearing. So you must make sure every Sunday, every day, you'll, you'll get in there. When we pray next level prayer, write, write the prayer, the prayer, the, the, the verses. But now that I have the word, what, what do I do? Because I, I need something to change. I need something to change. We didn't come to joke. No, we mean business. And our father means business with us. Listen to me. Stop playing church. It's not good. You'll be hurt. Because after playing church, you will get to a place where there's no result. You will not be very disappointed and devastated. I'm not preaching church. I'm preaching relationship. I'm preaching God's word. I'm preaching how this thing becomes personal. Why? You stay at home. This is what are you doing. You say, I'm studying the word. I'm studying the word. I'm studying the word. I'm studying the word. Pastor Jesus over there. Pastor Jesus over here. Pastor John, all of them are here. My wife is here. Pastor Luke is here. 10, 15, 20 years ago, I said all things will happen. Yes, Pastor, you can't remember that day we were playing in, in my mother's uh, balcony? And I said, I saw the visions of the spirits. We had not even started church. We were still in university. I said, I saw multitude gathers in different places. This is over 20 years ago. What was God doing? He was putting seed in my heart. He was putting seed. Some of you, as you're praying, you'll just be seeing New York. New York. He's telling you your next office is New York. 
why am i praying and seeing wedding gown why am i seeing wedding gown he's telling you that that's what is next for you glory to god when there was nothing i was saying it the reason why is that once you have the seed you have assurance because once you have the seed you may not have the fruits but if you can plant the seed and mix it with this next thing then the seed will grow hebrews chapter 4 verse 2 see what the bible says and this is what the problem is for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but see what happened and the word preached did not profit them the word preached did not bring forth results the word preached did not bring forth the healing the word preached did not bring forth the breakthrough the word preached did not bring up the desires of the world why not being mixed with faith in them that had it it's great to shout but shout is not what does it it's faith in the word that does it <laughs> what then does faith do it takes faith to produce changes he said the word did not profit them not because the word was not powerful it was not mixed with faith in their hearts so then what does faith do romans chapter 1 verse 16 see what faith does romans faith produces results faith produces results romans 1 16 let's read together for what i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ why it is the power of god unto salvation to everyone it is faith and believing that convert gospel to power he said how does this teaching turn to power for advancement how does this teaching turn to power for healing it's believing it that changes it to power sir it's faith that changes it to power what mark 9 23 it says all things are possible to him that believe it the first step of faith is believing so what does faith do? Faith makes impossibility possible. Some of you might have recorded medical reports, but faith can rewrite medical reports. He says all oh, time. He didn't say something. He said all things are possible to him that believe it a lady was 54 years old he said for the first time in my life i got engaged i said how does a lady that's 54 years old get engaged at that age why all things are possible to him that believe it this this last week i called of our members was on a project i know on a, on, a, on a contract he said pastor thank you for my for your prayers the contract has come through i said that's fantastic he said pastor not fantastic it's more than fantastic the contract is a hundred million dollars. It's a hundred million dollars. Even me, the pastor said, Jehovah, you are good. All things are possible to him that believe it. A lady came and said, My child is um the child is three months old, but they have this thing. Is it goiter? They call it it's goiter. He said, please come. I said, no, uh, there's no, I want to come, but the time is not there. He said, just this shirt you are wearing, let me take it, let me, let me take it with me. She got home in the evening, put it on the daughter. By the time she woke up the next morning, the goiter had dematerialized. Why? All things are possible. So he him that believe it. Question, what do you believe, sir? what do you believe businessman what do you believe about the funding what do you believe about the approval i don't even remember the testimony we had a service meeting service and i just in the service the song going to the inter for interview tomorrow at the embassy stand up he stood up i said lost said that they're giving the visa the guy got to the visa station 
I don't know what this festival. You remember? He got to visa station and the interviewer denied him and said, I'm sorry, I can't give you an entry visa to the US. The guy told the interviewer, you cannot deny me. He said, my geo said that you said you will give me. He said, I've come to collect not to be denied. The American consultant <laughs> busted into laughter. This was when our church was small. So he said, who is the interview? Who is the geo? So it's not even something that they know me. He, he just said laughing. He said, where is the geo? What is his name? Which church is this one? Where is the church? <laughs> the man laughed and said, I just love your cool boldness. Bring back your passports. All things are possible to him that believeth. Oh, All things are possible to him that believeth. Praise God. Joshua came from the U.S. Joshua, stand up. Joshua came from Chicago for the conference from the U.S. There's a lady in the Chicago cell called her name is Mandy. She had what cancerous tumor in her chest as we were leading next level prayers i mentioned her case and she said she began to feel what hot sensation this is in chicago not in nigeria burning in her breast she said i could not sleep i managed to sleep that night he said i knew power had touched me when i woke up i called the office i'm not coming he said i went straight to the hospital american doctors that confirmed that this was cancer they began to go around he says, he said, when I said I'm going one, two, three, I was just smiling. He said, Me, I know what has happened. <laughs> he said, I was just smiling. I know what he, I know what has happened. He said, they came back. I said, something has happened right now. What come, Joshua? Come and tell me what they say happened. Come, 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 come. Is that your friend from Chicago also? Lily, come talk you from Chicago, come. Because this conference we have international delegates from very real country, Kenya, UK, uh, come. I'm hoping that your faith can catch fire, sir. Yes, tell me. Hello, everybody. This is Josh. Um, so we had a, a lady. Her name is Mandy, uh, and she had um, she had diagnosed with cancer. And <laughs> just one minute version because we don't have a lot of time. So um, it was already diagnosed. She was had cancer, yeah. And so we she we joined NLP prayer, and it just disappeared because she said when she went to bed that night, she felt like you know something was happening. And then the next day she went because you know NLP morning here is night in America. Yeah. So yeah. She, went, she went the next day and it was everybody was running around like the doctors were like, "What's going on? What's going on? What's going on?" And they came to her and she like she had so much confidence that it was already done. And and so that's what happened, yeah. And you, you and, take the microphone, tell me, yeah. <laughs> and when she went to the hospital, let her finish it. When she, what did the doctor tell her in the hospital? Uh, the hospital and then they were trying to um, do another test. Uh huh. Oh, hold, hold the microphone closer to your mouth. Very confused. Yeah. The doctor and his assistant, and they kept going back and forth, and they were arguing. And then Mandy says she's looking at them, and she's like, "I know what's happened already, you know." And then they came, they came back and like, I, "I don't know what's going on, and we can't find anything. It's so different from what I have, like what the what the previous test has shown. This is so different. Like it was just, it was just gone. amazing." And Mandy starts laughing, like she's like, "I know what God has done, and God has already perfected it the night before I came." Oh. Thank you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Cancer was humbled. Cancer was humbled. Cancer. This is cancer that troubles doctor. The name of Jesus humbled cancer. Tonight, every form of sickness presence will be humbled. Possible, possible. I've seen people that supernaturally funding came. In tears, someone said, Pastor, is this how miracles happen? Because I've never had one before. The fourth thing faith does is this. It makes a winner out of you no matter where you are. 1 John chapter 5 verse 4. The Bible says, 1 John chapter 5 verse 4. This is the victory that overcomes the world, 
even our faith. He said, what makes us win is not economic situation. Not makes us win is what? Our faith. So once you have faith, you become a winner. Once you have faith, you'll never lose a battle. Let me look last one. Faith is how we conquer every attack. Every attack. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16. This is very powerful. This is how we conquer. There's an attack on your fallopian tube. This is how you conquer it. There's an attack on your children. This is how you conquer it. There's an attack on your family. This is how, an attack can be spiritual, physical, material. It doesn't matter what it is. Oh yeah. Can I have my umbrella? It says above all. Above all, do what? It says above all, do what? Above all, do what? Why? Where it you are able to conquer and quench every fiery dart of the enemy. He said, when you have attack, all you do is they wonder why they can't attack you. Your faith is at least protecting it. Some people don't even know how attack comes. Most people say attack is that they were pressing me in the gym. Those are small attacks. Those are small attacks. Let me, you know, because people don't understand Bible, so they give you all sorts of things. Let me tell you, the real source of spiritual attack, spiritual attack comes in your thoughts. You will just be going, and the devil will say, ha, ah, you will have cancer. You did, see, it was not a suggestion, it was a spiritual arrow. You will just be going and say that, you know that as an entrepreneur, this thing will fail. Nothing, though, just because they are taught, it will just fire you. Ah, your child, this is how you will be sick till he dies. And many of you don't know that you have been fired out of. You think that they are just suggestions. In the spirit, words are not normal. They are either words of blessings or words of curses. What do you do when you are fired attack? What do you say? He said what? Listen to me. He said you would take this your faith. You would take the shield. You use. So the question is that. How do I use my shield of faith? Listen to me. When the devil now just comes and says, your child will die, you will just take your shield of faith. How do you take your shield? By your mouth. You will say, nothing shall cast their young. The number of their days I will fulfill. Once the attack comes to your thoughts, you reply with your words. He says, you are, be careful, you will fail. You say, no. He says that the Lord will make me plenteous in the works of my hand. What am I doing? I'm taking my shield of faith. He says another one, I take my shield of faith. He says, you will not marry, you will die single. He will say, you don't understand Satan. He will give me the desires of my heart. He says that you will not get defunded. He will say, Satan, you don't understand. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. What am I doing? I'm putting it there. What am I doing? I'm putting it there. What am I doing? I'm putting it there. Somebody shout, Amen. One of the things the devil used to torment me was this. You will fail. And I used to tell the devil. He said, you are doing so well, you will just capsize. I said, the Bible says the path of the righteous is like a shining light. I don't allow the arrow to enter. Some of you, you've allowed the arrow to enter. It's time to remove it. He said, the path of the righteous is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter to the perfect day. He that's begun the good work in me, he will finish it. Ladies and gentlemen, the word of God delivers on the platform of faith. Where your faith ends, your testimony stops. Where your faith ends, your testimony stops. Where your faith ends, your testimony stops. So, if you want a continual flow, let your faith flow. And what is faith? Faith is not waiting on God to walk. Faith is not, I'm folding my hands, God to walk. That's not faith. Faith is not waiting for God to walk. Faith is putting his word to walk. What is faith? Putting God's word to what? To walk. Doctors say your hand cannot move. 
once we are declaring your move you begin to move the hand you begin you begin to say as you're moving it you're struggling but you're not stopping why faith is putting the word to work you take off the glasses and say why this thing has to go now you keep using the legs that they say has arthritis because faith is not waiting for god to walk he's putting your word putting his word to walk that's what faith is that's what faith is that's what faith is that's what faith is putting his word to walk you'll get back to work tomorrow morning you send email to everybody that's rejected you you say i know you now need me they say how do you know this is me putting my faith to work you go and start buying pregnancy kit tests your husband said did you miss your period i've never seen period or miss period it's not my period it's i'm putting my faith to work you start refreshing your email because you are expecting some approval because what i'm putting my faith to work so faith is not passive faith is active when you're in faith you are doing something faith without works is dead one lady one wine press one lady told me she said i've not seen my prayer for over one year he said when i was coming for this wine press i put on pad because i knew that i was going to menstruate he said just as i believed as you began to pray i went to the bedroom and lo and behold after almost two years of no menstruation it began to flow why faith is putting it to work then you start going start checking wedding gowns wedding rings your friend says do you have a boon you say that in the spirit praise god hallelujah i say hallelujah everybody thinks you're crazy it's okay if you're not crazy you're not in faith because we walk by faith not by sight we walk by faith not by sight glory to god you go and price that new office complex you want to move your office to nikoi and they say is this a man he said no problem your partner says are you crazy i'm not crazy i'm just in faith faith is a new dimension somebody say amen you go home and check your blood pressure because it has normalized because now things are different you go home that your child that cannot talk you say oh boy say mommy say mommy say mommy say mommy say mommy the boy say ma you say you can talk now say ma say ma say ma 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 mommy hallelujah hebrews chapter 11 verse 4 praise god and this is my last scripture that we begin to pray my god can you feel the faith in the atmosphere Pastor Lion, remember the lady in um, Kotonou that had HIV? HIV confirmed. Her mother owned a lab. They had tested several times HIV positive. As I was preaching, in, as I was preaching, I even felt somehow because it was a, it was a lot of young people were there. But I, I see this case. I want to touch the person. I said, if you're the person that has HIV, I see the spirit come out. But then she came out. You remember, she was soaked in tears. I wanted to pray for her. I said that I'm the fault. It's my fault. I, he said, when I got to school, first and second year, I slept with everything available. He said, I think I was reckless. And I told her, has God forgiven you? Yes. I said, God does not punish forgiving sins. It's either you are forgiven or you are punished. But you cannot be forgiven and what? Punish. He said, really? I said, lift up your hands. Bale Koman Netaya faith that makes all things possible lay hands on her fell under the power it took about one or two months to go and test by the time she tested she came back he said i've got my mother's lab negative all right was that negative he said i'm negative how am i negative the power of the spirit it's doctor that says some things are terminal with god all things are possible Glory to God. So, this evening, everybody will be using their faith. So, you don't say, hey, okay, pastor, I'm going for the pastor. You don't go for the pastor. The woman with the issue of blood did not wait for Jesus. The woman with the issue of blood said, if someone touches me, if they don't touch you, touch him. Uh, if they don't touch you, touch 
Jesus. He said, I'm waiting for the pastor to touch me. You don't need the pastor. All you need is Jesus. In the extension at home, touch him. I'm not sure the healing service we had and online I was seeing, ha, 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 my love has disappeared. Ha, 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 my child is healed. People online are receiving. What about you in the physical space? If he doesn't touch you, touch him. All I know that you must not remain the same. Businessmen, touch him for your business. Career people, touch him for your career. Singles, touch him for your marriage. Those that need children, touch him. Approval, touch him. Online, touch him. How do you touch him? Is a touch of faith. Because the Bible says, many were strong in him. But it was only the woman. How, what do you mean? The woman had said in her heart. What is it? She was convinced. If I touch, she established it that tonight is my eye. Once I once pastor can pray, that's it. And she touched. Will you touch? Hebrews 11, verse 4. The Bible says, by faith. Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. While we finish praying for the sick, this morning announced in NLP, we are going to take a sacrificial Isaac order of offering. And the thing is that if you don't feel like giving, we love you. You are doing well and God is not angry with you. Don't let anybody lie to you. Oh, you, don't, you die. No, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that difficult. Why the offering? Your giving is a testament that this has worked for me. Are you here? Your sacrifice is a testament of your faith. When Abraham offered Isaac, he was saying, Lord, with or without this, you will do it. My faith is not in Isaac. My faith is in you. Every time people are not able to offer sacrifice, it's because of fear. That, eh, if I give this now, I will I achieve the remaining. So let me give small. Bible says by faith, Abel offered. The two of them offered, but one offered by fear. Fear says, give small. Faith says, I give everything. If you don't do it, I'm sunk. But because you are faithful, do it, Lord. Those that are praying for sickness will have to do something. Those that are praying for finance and business have to do something. All of them are both actions of faith. The Zali fat woman said, this is my last meal. Abraham, Elijah said, bring, bring, bring. If she took it away, that would have been the last meal. What made that giving was the faith that if I release this, it will be a new beginning for me. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. When we take our eyes, it comes out, give instructions. Everybody's going to get an envelope. Just, you don't have to use it, but I'll tell you how to use it. All you have to do is just write what you desire on it. If you want to write, because most of us are not going to use envelope to give anyway. But I want you to attach your faith. I said, this is what I desire. This is my seed. I receive it, Lord. Mark chapter 9 as we close. Verse 23. But that's not now. Don't know for envelope now. This is not envelope time. This is miracle time. Praise God. Those online that want to participate, you will get to participate when it's time. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. Let's read. Want to go. If doubts can believe, yeah? How do you know you believe? Where's the remote control? What is believing? This is what believing is. Believing is like a thermostat. When you, your AC can do as low as 18 or 60 degrees for some AC. But if you set your AC at 25 degrees, what will happen? What will happen? It will cool. And when you get to the 5, it will stop cooling. Is that how much it can cool? No. That's where you have set it. That's your belief. God, it can cool up to 16. But your thermostat is where it will stop. Your believing is this. God can do everything. But how much it will do in you? Is when you set your thermostat. If your thermostat is 
10 million, he will do it. If it's 100, he will do it. If it's that uh, God will heal me next year, he will do it. If it's that it's instant time here, he will do it. Question, where are you setting your thermostat? Where did you set it? Believing is the, you have the remote control in your hand. Right now as I'm talking to you, you have the remote control. You have the remote control. Because as I'm talking, your mind is processing. When will you receive it? Hey, if I don't get to this, I'll come again and pray tomorrow. That's okay. Some are saying that. <laughs> My name is Takuti Jesus. Praise God. I'm here. I'm here. We are here. We don't move. We don't shake until it breaks. The thermostat. So look at it. The AC can cool up to 16 degrees, but it will stop at whatever degree you set it. Question is this. What degree have you set your faith at? Have you set your grade that it will happen later on? Uh, my faith is that even if I don't get it for my child right now, you know, it's okay. Or how many of you have set it? I say, where's the thermostat? N-O-W now. Hallelujah. You know, because what have I been doing for the past one hour? We have been soaking it. Yes or no? We have been what? Soaking it. Now, so how many of you feel that I'm soaked already? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. Some businesses are taking off this year. Hallelujah. Listen to me. When you, we need a lot of space, so because by the time we pray for the sick now, everywhere we jam with people that have been healed. Once you know you are healed, you'll get out of your seat because the power of God will start falling like thunder, sir. Like thunder, sir. Inside, outside, overflow, on site. Sakela Pratoka Shaliga Pratosia. Sikondele Christocrete de Masude. Shalige Pratosa dia. Answer your prayers. Everybody stand on your feet and thank him for answering your prayers. Those at home, don't sit down, stand on your feet and answer your prayers. Thank him for answering your prayer. This is your day. This is your turn. Thank him for answering your prayers. Everywhere, go ahead. All the businessmen and business women, thank him. All the all the people believing for healing, thank him. Thank him for answering your prayers. Take note of what I'm saying. Thank him for answering your prayers. Thank him for answering your prayers. Begin to declare the word of God. Thank him for answering your prayers. Thank him for answering your prayer. Choir, help me. Thank him for answering your prayers. Horaba Koraba Sampale Godosiata. E peto com bele suze. Shilemanta Christi Prakapantora de Aska. Lengresi ketele preketele passa manuta. Empato Christi preketosa. Impala suze preganosa. Lampate com pregene. Shilemente. Thank him for answering your prayers. Thank him because it is done. Thank him because it is done. Thank him because it is done. Thank you because the funding has happened. Thank you because the blind are seen. Thank you because the lame are walking. Thank you because the blind are carrying the children. Thank you because the expansion has begun. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Shalema kola masante kabaya. Repoto senegeteya. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Oh, Shadanayama. All of you watching online, it's done. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Ladies and gentlemen, the power of the Holy Ghost is mighty in this place. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb.
miracles are flowing now. You know, when I pray for the sick, I said faith is taking the word. If your leg could not walk, now you will just pray for you. Now say, let your leg, are you okay now? No! You will say, leg, walk, walk, walk. You talk to it, walk, 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 walk. Don't do it one or two times, do it seven times. If you brought a child, you begin to talk to them to be healed. Thank you, Jesus. So exalt, lift up. Hallelujah. Lord in this place as the glory of the Lord in this place oh that's the glory of the Lord in this place that's the glory of the Lord in this place that's the glory of the Lord in this place that's the glory of the Lord in this place that's the glory of the Lord in this place 
Oh! 
if you have a sickness in your body just put your right hand where it is this is your time and if you want someone to assist you you can tell your neighbor to also put your right hand their right hands and join my god 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 And you are the Lord that he led me in. You are the Lord, my healer. You sent your word. You sent your word. And here condition has been healed by the power of God. A spine condition has been healed in the name of Jesus. Someone's right leg has been healed in Jesus' name. An enlarged heart has been healed in the name of Jesus Christ. And a, a malfunctioning organ has been healed in Jesus' name. Someone was helped to walk in here. You are healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God right now in the name of the lord jesus you devil of infirmity you can't stay any longer in their body i command in the name of jesus come out of their bodies now i say i rebuke your spirit of infirmity come out of their eyes come out of their bodies come out of their ears come out of their wombs come out of their lungs come out of their legs come out of their spine in the name of Jesus I command every tumor to go I command every lung to go I command every cancer to die every part of your body that is not working let strength come into it right now in the name of Jesus receive it right now right now right now the life of God comes into your body making you whole I said receive healing I said you are healed I said your eyes is healed your bones are healed your nerves are healed in the name of Jesus if you're praying for healing wrap your hands around yourself declare it three times i healed declare it i'm healed declare it i'm healed specify exactly what you're healed from say i'm healed i can do this now i'm healed i can do this now i'm healed i can do this now oh power of the holy ghost power of the holy ghost Shande Kavana begin to do what you could not do right now begin to do what you could not do someone had a lump in the breast the lump is gone right now someone could not move a part of your body you can move that body right now those of you online begin to do what you could not do you are healed I said you are healed I said you are healed 
Begin to do what you could not do. Begin to do what you could not do. In the name of Jesus. Begin to do what you could not do. In the name of Jesus. Begin to do what you could not do. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. Oh glory. Do it again. And again. The fibro is gone. The lump is gone. The ears is healed. Check your ears. Check your body. You are healed right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You are healed right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Saints. You are healed right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, I take a banana. Oh glory. So many miracles are happening right now. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. If you pray for healing and you feel an amendment to your body, you feel, you know, you check the lump is gone, you can see something has changed. Either you want to testify or not, that doesn't matter. I want to be grateful to God. Ushers, you have to open all the doors because people are ill in the overflows also. I want to come outside. I want to come and tell one of the pastors what the Lord did. I want to come outside. You don't have to come on the stage. You can tell them, I don't want to come on the stage, but it's important you testify. Come outside quickly and come and tell them what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Look at them. They're coming. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Look at, the, look at them coming from everywhere. 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 Everywhere. Come, come out of your seats quickly, 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 quickly. Come out of your seats. All of you, the extension of the overflow, find your way inside. If you're online, post to the comment section that you are here. Come out of your seats quickly. Come out of your seat quickly. Come out of your seat quickly. For you are glorious. For you are glorious. Yes. And worthy to come quickly. Come quickly. Sing it well, yeah. Sing it well. For you are glorious. Uh huh. And a word that's really great. You are the Lamb of the truth. Hallelujah. If you're coming from outside, I'll just help them get in. You are the Lamb. All of you outside, you find your way inside. You find your way inside. If you got here, find your way you inside the auditorium. Find your way inside this auditorium. You yes, are you are there. Look at that. Oh, the truth. Oh, oh my God. Is that from outside? To say. For you were glorious. You were glorious. You were glorious. Look at them coming from outside the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Open and to your Yes. I talk at the Yes, yes, Pastor. Pastor, this miracle happened just before you started preaching. Wow. You gave an exact word. This is his second. Since she was 13, she hasn't seen a period. It comes and goes. Yeah. And instantly you gave the word. She fell under the power. She went outside and she was flowing. Bata, 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 Come. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you so many miracles are happening tonight. This is a miracle. Sir. Yes, sir. 
How do you feel? I feel great, sir. Since last year, April, it came just once last year. Since last year, April, nothing. Listen, since April, in the next two months, it will be another April. She has not seen a menstrual floor. But as we prayed, the power of God came upon her and the period began to flow. That, that thing that caused it is gone, it will never return again. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on you and confirm your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know some people are sick coming from the overflow and there's no there's a queue and all of that. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. To say you are the name. They should just feel their testimonies. We can't take all of them. I want to pray for I want to pray for other things. I want to pray for other things. Glory to God. Glory to God. Pastor DG, where are you? Can you help me with this? Let's make it faster. Pastor Fojo, all of you there, just let's make it faster. Hallelujah. So this is peace. Uh, where is peace? <laughs> she's somewhere at the back. Right. Yes. She says she has been having pain under her left breast for a while. And I think it was one of the cases that you mentioned. Yeah. Right? Uh, but as Pastor Polaji was preaching, before you even started praying, he says, I felt the pain gone and I feel so whole right now. Praise God. And there is absolutely no pain whatsoever. It's okay. Whatsoever. She's not to come on the stage. It's okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just imagine the goodness, the grace, and the favor of God. You are the Lamb upon the throne. All right, praise the Lord. Pastor Tega has been, you know, since she's been in GS3, she hasn't been able to see clearly. She was using glasses, right? Um, and she stopped at some point because I think she said the doctor asked her. No, I stopped like in faith. Like I didn't want to use it then. It got missing in 2019. So I said, if I'm not doing glasses again, I, I stopped. And when I went for my medicals, my office said we should go for medical. So when I went, when we got to the eye test, the doctor said, you can't see you. Where's your glasses? I said, I'm believing in faith, man, please. And she said, what do you mean by you're believing in faith? God made glasses. I said, I'm believing in faith. And then um, after that, actually, she made me feel down. So I actually went and made a glasses again. On Wednesday, I was wearing my glasses there. I don't know him from anywhere. My sister is there. She, he came and said, sorry, what's your name? I said, take her. And he said, God doesn't want you to use glasses. I said, I don't understand. My sister said, remove it, you've heard. Okay, so I took it off. And then today again, the same thing. And then pastor said, put your hand in um, the place you're not feeling okay. And I put my hand in my eyes. And I said, I can read the screen. I will read the screen. And I started reading it. There's someone with a shirt there. I started reading what was on her shirt. 21 days revival. I started reading it. I said, I can see the screen. I don't need glasses. I can see. Read this, read this. For you are glorious and worthy to be Hey! Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take just one more testimony, then we will pray, then we'll you know take the others later. Yes. Pastor, I just got this testimony from someone watching on YouTube. Someone on YouTube, yeah. Yes. He says, MJT, I just received my healing. The pain in my back has disappeared. And the mole in my anus has suddenly reduced. The lump in the anus has, has suddenly, suddenly reduced. reduced. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is good and kind. God is good and kind. Please just keep, just let him wait and feel. There shall be showers of blessing. Please just sit down. Just sit down one minute. This is the promise. Oh yes, there shall be seasons refreshing. 
No, no, they can stay. They don't have to go anywhere. They don't have to go anywhere. They can stay. It's okay. Oh. What's that? What's going on there? Let's see, sweetie. You just go there and tell them what is happening. There shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. There's power all over this place. Miracle healing power all over this place. God I said glory to God listen the healing power of God is all over this place and he can sense it praise God okay read the testimonies and I'm going to pray for five categories five categories then we'll close the service glory to God okay go ahead pastor this is from precious yeah she says she had strange midnight cough disappeared yeah. She says she went out tonight with the touch of God and vomited everything. Come here. Tell me about this strange sickness. I really don't know when it started, like two months ago. I don't used to cough during the day, just midnight. And my mom and daddy will not sleep. Nobody will sleep because anytime that sleep just comes, the cough will start. And it's not just dry cough. As if they are strangling me, I'll keep coughing. As if something wants to come out but it's not coming out, I'll keep coughing. Even when I go up, people say, ah, just cough. Even my friends see me today, ask, said different kind of drugs I should buy. Everybody saying, buy this, buy this, buy this. And I kept drinking. What happened tonight? I went out. As pastor said, lay your hands on that place. I started touching my chest and my throat, and I was praying. The next thing, I said something wanted to come out of me. I could not vomit where I was. I ran to the back. People at the back could see me. I started vomiting everything that was on my... That was so my this is why your clothes are staying here? Yes, I was vomiting, and I was vomiting, and I was vomiting everything. Before I can't even talk, I would be coughing like 10 times. But now, everywhere is free. Like I could feel this freedom Woo! in my chest. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That is an oppression of the devil. Come, my sister. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke it. Lose her now. your hands and give him praise the devil has no choice he has head it's gone the devil has no choice it's gone it's gone
Hallelujah. You know, when you minister the Spirit, you can see beyond the eyes. Of course, people come to the stage, I never prayed for any of them. But that one I knew because I saw it, that something was there. Praise God. Everyone that has a lump, a growth, or a tumor, stand on your feet. Oh, Lamanda, stand on your feet. Listen to me. This is your time. Will you receive it? This is your time. The angel of God has brought you healing. The Lord has remembered you. And right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch forth my hands towards you. In the mighty name of Jesus, that lump, that tumor, that growth, that fiber, you can't stay any longer in their bodies. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command you, come out of their bodies now. Your spirit of infirmity, loose them now and let them go. You're healed. The lump and the tumor is gone. In Jesus' mighty name. If it's a place you can check, you go ahead and check. You can excuse yourself, go ahead and check. If someone says, I know that you people in Lekia are very formal, and you're like, I don't want to check here. I don't want to say, listen to me, this is faith. This is not about Lekia or mainland. Don't bring that now. Don't bring that now. This is faith. So you need to walk with the spiritual instruction. If it's a place you can check, excuse yourself, go and check. If you're not, don't, if you can't, when you get home, check properly. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everyone that has a hearing and seeing problem, stand up. Hearing or seeing problem, stand up. And great are you, Lord. You know what the Lord told me? So, some of you that have hearing problem, you've been healed already, but you don't even know it because you've not even, you've not even checked. You've not even checked. And right now, that hearing problem, that seeing problem, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Come out of your bodies now. Now. Your eyes and ears are restored by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and thank him, all of you standing for healing you. Say with your mouth. Say with your mouth that my eyes are healed, my ears are healed. Thank him. Thank him. If you could not hear, if someone was wrong with your hair, begin to exercise it. Begin to do what you could not do. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Eyes have been healed, ears have been healed right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. All of you standing, if you felt an improvement, just wave your hands. You don't have to come out. Just wave your hands. Just wave your hands. You felt an improvement. T tell me. You, your, your eyes was really bad. You couldn't read what was on the screen. Put it on the screen that I read now. Tell me. You Oh, wow. Fantastic. Tell me. Someone, you, yeah, tell me what happened to you. It's always blurry now. It's clear. That's wonderful. What, what else over there? Someone raised up their hands. Yeah, tell me. Your eyes also was healed. The brother in black, what happened to you? What? Your eyes also was healed. What, what happened to you, lady? 
your eyes also was healed who is different your ears your ears what, what what's wrong with your ear man you can't hear very well give her the microphone I, I can't hear what she's saying somebody has to repeat a word for me before i hear very well someone has to repeat a word for you yeah, before you but hear now i'm hearing clearly okay now. the brother holding the microphone don't look at him i don't want to read his lips say to her how are you fine and you heard that clearly praise god please you can have your seats and you know some of you need to find a way to get a testimony sleep and we'll feel it glory to god hallelujah just one more prayer and um if you have a terminal case a terminal case is like cancer it's terminal like the doctor has told you that four more days four more months it's terminal and you cannot stand in the gap for somebody else will you raise up your hands let me see you if you have a terminal case you can bring somebody else it has to be you all of you that for somebody else i'll tell you what to do is that for you or you're for somebody else for somebody else no for you what happened to you what was wrong with her she says terminal what is it where's pastor you know the pastor pastor for look at pastor you just help me find out what terminal means Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. So many testimonies, but we're just because of time so that we can all close. Hallelujah. All those that want to get pregnant, will you stand? Amen. So, Kebash, Dekol, All those that have leg problems, will you please stand? Spine problems, will you please stand? don't just say they will pray for me with your faith take it with your faith do what? take it thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Holy Spirit which of the ladies I want to get pregnant? It's not as if you've not gotten pregnant, but you always lose the baby. Where are you? You always lose the baby. You're the, you're, you? You always lose the baby. You've lost two already. Which of you have lost two already? You're the one. Come. Come. I'll tell you why I've lost it. Because I just saw a vision about you. Yeah. But this time it will stay. When you go home, you tell your husband that the prophet you met said this time it will stay. I'm amazed in your presence. There's nothing you cannot do. Jesus Christ anything that's hindered your childbirth anything that's affected your legs your spine right now in Jesus name I take authority over it and I say in the name of Jesus let it be God in Jesus name right now be healed in the name of Jesus I say let your belly carry baby in Jesus name and carry baby to fill town I pray for everyone that is delayed when it comes to marriage. That that power of delay is broken. The minimum I receive for you this year is an engagement. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Business people, think of the profit you want to make this year. Think about it. So, what does I have terminal cases? She does. Another person in the terminal case, you can sit down. Thank you. Is it terminal? It's not terminal. What? Okay. So, so
so what's wrong with that leg? So anybody has a terminal case? I just want to know if anybody has a life or death issue. for treatment for breast cancer the treatment led to leg cancer medical science with its limitations but nothing too hard for the name of Jesus nothing too hard for the name of Jesus so what, what can she do she can move her legs or what you can walk. Were you carried in here? She had to be carried in. She can only stand just the way she's standing. Oh, she... Come, Pastor Fulke. Take a microphone. Do you have a microphone? Yeah, tell me. She couldn't even stand at all. Oh, they know? carried yeah. her in. Yes, sir. So she's just standing for the yes. first time. Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir. Oh, wow. What's your name? What is it? Edna. 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 So you've not stood like this in a long time by yourself. Yeah. And listen to me. The Lord has begun the work with you. Yeah. yeah. The Lord has begun the Lord work with you. Oh, awesome. Is just sing the song. So all the business. I want to be fast that. Since we're going to. You have a test. Tell me. What's that? What? A testimony from Ikeja Church. Yeah. So, uh, if the cameraman can zoom, there is this lady with a bracelet. Her name is Nena. Uh, Nena had a ligament split on her right she wrist. She has a bracelet, so something is tight. So, this is in the Keja. These are the centers watching. Get the testimony and put it, put it on the screen. Pastor, can you send that testimony to Ben? Or Ben gets the testimony. Okay, sir. So, um... Just send it to Ben, first oh, of all. Okay, sir. All right. Just send it. Just stay the way you are and send it to him. Everybody say, thank you, Jesus. What is wrong with this man? Cancer. Let him come stand here. We take care of cancer. Awesome. Give him a check. Maybe it's, it's too weak. Give him a check. Give him a chair. You can see it's very weak. Give him a chair. He'll be very strong now. Awesome. Because of our time, I just want to combine all the things together. I want to pray for the business people. There are these envelopes that everyone has called the Isaac Challenge. Take the envelope, and I've told you that everybody should stretch and give an, an Isaac offering. The, the, the envelope is not, it's not as if you must use the envelope. I don't idolize the envelope. Don't let's make it what it's not. I just want you to be focused and use your faith. This is what I want you to write on the envelope. Write one or two things maximum you desire for your business. Not too much stories. Just one or two things. Then what you want to give, either you're going to make a chance already, write it there and say, Lord, I thank you because this is done in 2022. Go ahead. All of you online, use the same step of faith. Use the same step of faith. If you're online and you want to do that, if you want to give, they'll give you the giving options. Um, there's now a PayPal option you can use all of you in other African nations in Europe. There's a PayPal option you can use all of you in South Africa. There's an option you can give with. Glory to God. Okay. So, you do that first. You do that first. I'm just giving you some time. I don't want to distract you. Oh, sorry again. So as soon as we do that, we're just going to pray. Someone says, well, I don't have anything to give. It's okay. We, you know, you can, it's, it's okay. God, God will bless you. God knows your heart. Some of you, you're going to stretch. Some of you, this will be the first time you give a million. Some of you to give the first time you give 1,000 naira, $1,000, $10,000. Some of you to give the first time you give 5,000 naira, five, 50,000 naira. 5 million naira, 10 million naira, 50 million naira. The amazing thing that God that wants to give a sacrifice, he will tell you what to give. He will tell you what to give. Don't be disturbed. He will tell you what to give. 
So the key thing is to offer a sacrifice like by faith, like Abel. Okay, look at the screen now. Look at the screen. Show it. This is from the Kedja Church. Where is it? So, Pastor, that, that was when the bracelet was in her hand. Then that is after you prayed. Oh, look at the... So that's, that's the bracelet, bracelet on the left in yes. her hand. Yes, sir. So the hand probably was broken or something. Yes. Then look at the hand on the right hand side. Now she's moving the hands freely. She's even in another location. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise God. So you keep writing. Choir sing the song. I'm going to pray for this you too. Do you do stand up, stand up, stand up. Sit, sit. What cancer is this? What? Where is it? Oh, I can close it back. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let, let me see. Let me. So he has to use all of this. Keep singing, don't worry about me. Just sing on the go to Sam, God is healing you today. God is healing you today. Put him back. You can come right Thank you, Jesus. Evil now. Thou spirit of infirmity. Lose him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. Now. I command the devil to die. In the name of Jesus. Let strength. Let life. Let strength. Let life come into your body. In the name of Jesus. Let strength. Let life come into your body. In the name of Jesus. I want him to stand up. I want him to stand up by himself. Yeah. I want him to stand up. Okay. I don't want him to hold him. So we'll start by holding him. So hold him. Okay. Come here. Oh God, turn back. You shall leave and not die. Yes. You shall leave yeah. and not die. You shall leave and not die. Jesus, my God. You shall leave and not die. You don't mind it. Go back to your seat. My God, and you the glorious. Where's Pastor Paul again? You will favor God. Oh, submission. Put your hands. Can you please stand? Thank you, Jesus. Just put the chairs away. Hey, tall man, it just put your hands Now, devil of infirmity, loose. Now, come on, loose. Loose now. Let the power of God. 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 Let the power Say I'm receiving healing. Say I'm receiving healing. Say now I'm receiving healing. Now I'm receiving healing. Now I'm receiving healing. Come, my sister, come, 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 come. Yeah, come, 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 come. Say I'm receiving healing. Yes, come. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Come. Faithful God. 
Continue, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to her. That leg that way before? Never. You brought her? What did you say? Hold on. Where's the, my microphone? Hold on. When they brought her? They carried her, sir. When they brought her. And we were teaching her to walk in faith. And, sir, she couldn't even stand. This is your sister. Tell me. She could not even stand? Yes. And so this one, as she's lifting up the leg and moving like this, she couldn't. She didn't have control over the leg. What? She didn't have control. Okay. I, I'm going to leave Pastor Fuleke with you. And this is what I wanted to do. Relax. I, because I know she's really careful. She's really careful because she's really holding on. Of course, you don't blame her. She's not gone for a long time. So, you know, even standing is a challenge now. If she should move that leg. She needs to move the other one. Then when she has, because this one has received strength, it means the other one. As she receives strength, then she'll begin to walk. Praise God. Hallelujah. Is this a miracle already? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes. Look at her face. He said, yes. yes sir. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, I mean, if, if we had more time, we'll have ministered to people. But it's, it's you know, I don't want to keep everybody here late here to tomorrow. Glory to God. So, Pastor Luke, you're there. This is what I don't want to go back to. I wanted to keep exercising it. She needs to keep telling me, telling us, telling, declaring the word of God. I'm healed. I'm healed. Pastor Femi, let me join them in that area. Praise God. Telling the word, I'm healed. I'm healed. Um, okay, yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Have, have you written it down? Have you, do you know what you're believing God for? Stand on your feet. Let me tell you something. The only thing Jacob did, Isaac did for Jacob, was that he spoke a blessing. And because of the blessing, Jacob was ahead of Esau. By the reason of this blessing, you will be ahead in everything. Every business person, every career person, everyone in between a job, in the precious name of the Lord Jesus by the anointing go ahead where you have not been in business let the anointing take you there everything you has written as your career dream your business goals by the anointing it becomes your testimony 
By the anointing, it becomes your testimony. By the anointing, it becomes your testimony. Receive in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter if you are online, offline, watching from the other campuses. Right now. Right now. Your career, your business startup, your investment, they have multiplied times 10. It says, I will multiply you and you shall not be few. I will glorify you and you will not be small. I declare you have been multiplied. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. This is the last instruction. Whatever you do, when you get there, some of them can go there tomorrow. But latest Monday, when you get there, you will just lock as much as you can. Get there early. Begin to prophesy. And everything you have written, you will call it. You will declare it. All you need is five minutes. I said this year has become different for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and have our seat so that we can put the service to a close. Glory to God. Hallelujah.